Hey guys, and welcome to another pedal review. Now, today we are looking at a pedal that I've owned for a very, very long time. If you've watched any of the pedal board videos or you've seen a few videos where I've added extra pedals, this particular pedal is on it, and it's the Mua Ensemble King. So the Mua Ensemble King is basically a CU2 style chorus, um, but it does have an extra control, which is the level control, which actually is really, really cool. But for all argument's sake, it is a Boss CE2, and that is really, really great um, for that sound, and that's the kind of chorus I really love, and I use this all over the place. Now, I never did a demo of it, because there's heaps of demos out there, but I thought today, look, I had it set up for my opening of my Saint Rock uh, React IR. Uh, that video should be out as well. It's just basically unboxing and me trying it out. The full review will come soon, but that's going to take a while to film. Uh, and I thought, look, let's take a look at a pedal I use all the time, because why not? No, I haven't looked at it before, as far as review goes, and why don't we? So I've got my Squire Jaguar with Curtis Nova Novak pickups. Curtis Novak pickups in it, and I'm playing into the Seriotone into the Saint Rock. Uh, so you've basically got a decent clean sand, and we'll do some gain as well because that is actually a really cool thing. Um, so I'm just going to play the Jag for a bit. Might actually play the Rickenbacker too because it's actually fun to use different guitars and these kind of guitars I really love with chorus. So we've got three controls. As I mentioned, it has a level control and this is basically a mix control and that's what makes it so much more powerful in a sense because especially with distorted tones, you can get a little bit more subtle kind of chorus. And then you've got depth and you've got rate. So your standard chorus thing. So uh, I'm going to set up for what I like to call 12 o'clock, level on full. So this is your, your basically 50-50 mix. So you've got your kind of normal chorus sound and the 12 o'clock depth, 12 o'clock rate works really well and we'll just go through each control. Now let's just listen to the clean tone without the chorus so you've got some reference point. Back on 12 o'clock mode. And we bring the rate down. Kind of got more kind of flanger rate. So let's bring the depth up and I can and we'll go through the, the rate control, then we'll go through the depth control. setting can be really, really cool with distortion. Um, uh, right all the way down. Move it up, that is 12 o'clock. You've got your kind of seaside warbly effects there. Now most of your usable tones are between about here and here, I find. That's where you, I kind of dial in. I actually really like it about there. Not too warbly, not too kind of, yeah, too much movement, but um, nice and thick and chorusy. Switch to the bridge. Let's look at the depth. Um, I tend to use it between 12 o'clock and full, 
Down all the way, let's go back to 12 o'clock. It's kind of stuck on a point and you can move the rate around to get a different sound, but it isn't really a chorus. So we go to 12 o'clock now on the depth. Bring it up here. That was bad. And then full. So that's basically those controls. Now they're extremely subtle, so it's really just dialing it into taste. Um, and then the level can just back that off a bit. So if we dial in my favorite tone, which is basically depth there and this here. Now maybe I back the level off just a little bit. And that is kind of the amount of pitch modulation I want. That's the kind of rate but I want it to be less strong so then we can dial down the level. sounds like I don't have chorus on, but if I turn it off and let's say I play that kind of thing again. Subtle but kind of adds this little bit of lushness, a little bit of movement. Now next I'm going to change to the Rickenbacker and we're going to play some gain just because I want to try a kind of different combo and this is where the level control is more useful because sometimes with too much chorus especially in front again that's where i kind of actually like choruses in front again but sometimes it can get a bit mushy so let's roll into the ricky and set that up now i've got the ricky and we're in the game channel uh just for a bit of a different sound and i'm going to show what the ensemble king kind of does with that, um, use the level, use the depth, set it a little bit differently. So it's going into the gain channel. Like I said, this is where I prefer chorus and flanging. Um, so let's just listen to it uh, without the ensemble king and then we'll put it in. less wet. With it off. Back on. Now 
show the difference between level and bringing the depth down. Subtle difference, but definitely prefer more depth and less level. I'm going to bring the rate up. So for this last setting, basically got it turned up, got the gain cranked up, and gonna just play with it there. It's it's kind of a full on thing, and this is gonna feed back a bit, but let's roll with it. <laughs> Ensemble King, uh, my playing was a bit all over the shop today, so uh, apologies for that. But yeah, basically, one of my favorite pedals. I've got it all over videos, so check out some other videos. You'll see it in there if you really want to look at it. It's a really, really cool chorus pedals, but the market's now flooded with CE2 style choruses. I do want to do a shootout between this and some of my other modulation pedals. Uh, the TC Electronic Dimension and a few other things, BF2 Flanger, basically videos I've already done, but let's compare them all. Probably going to do that at some point, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get all the latest videos, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.